Wallace, and I am so excited to share with you this success story. This is a house that had been on the market for six months with very little activity and no offers. I basically walked through and was able to tell them why I thought the house didn't sell. We corrected those things and they followed my advice, which I'm so grateful for. We got the house sold in 51 days, which is really good time for the price range and the neighborhood that we were in. On top of that, we got them 96% of their asking price, which was great because we were priced really, really high. So the first thing that I saw when I drove up was that everything was really overgrown. And while the seller loved it when they lived there, they liked the privacy that it gave, but that's not what it took to get the house sold. We had to cut down all the overgrown vegetation, and then we had to put some pretty things in. We added some custom shutters, had them painted a really beautiful dark color, and then we restained the front door and made it dark and rich. So that gave us a ton of curb appeal. We also cleaned off the roof and cleaned the driveway. So that helped a whole lot. Now coming into the den, this just needed a few things, not bad. Uh, we had really beautiful cathedral ceilings. So we just put a, a white wash over the brick and then we did a gray wash over. There was a reddish wood, very thick and chunky and beautiful, but reddish wood mantle. And so we just put a gray wash over that, a white wash over the brick, completely updated it. And then we staged it. Now in the dining room, Everything was beautiful. We had these beautiful, thick, chunky beams. We already had a really nice light fixture. Didn't have to touch that at all. All we did was staging in here. So we brought in some beautiful furnishings and then we hung pictures and candle holders on the wall and that came together well. Now, one of the big changes that we made in here was the kitchen. And while the cabinets were a beautiful type of wood, the yellow color was really not appealing. So we went ahead and painted them white. We took up the floors, they were a busy brick paver. We took that out and we put some 12 by 24 beautiful rectangular tiles in all neutral colors. And then we changed the granite. We put a new sink, a new faucet, and also a new backsplash. It came together beautifully. We just added some decorations, warmed it all up. The change was amazing. Now the sunroom was one of the best features of the house. I mean, to have that kind of additional space. It was added on sometime in the 80s, and what the owner at that time did was use little eight by eight white tiles, and they used a very thick black grout line. I would say inch and a half to two inches wide. And what that did was formed a very busy grid, which was visually very distracting. So there was no money in the budget to go put new flooring. So what we did was we took white grout paint and we painted the grout. And that just gave it a really beautiful, kind of like a cobblestone feel, but white on white. And um, it came together beautifully. It gave us the look that we were going for. A couple of other things were going on in this room though. They had a window, because this used to be an outside space, the window from the master bathroom was actually facing into the sunroom. That was really strange. What was there previously is they just put a folding screen, but I didn't think the buyer was going to go for that, being that we had this thing priced for top dollar. And that's the key. What you can get away with at a discount price, you certainly cannot get away with if you're trying to get top dollar. So what I did was I put a piece of furniture in place. I actually had it painted white and had the top of it stained gray and we built that into the wall. We actually took out the baseboard, built it in, and then built a shiplap um, piece on top that went all the way up to the ceiling with crown molding, and we hid the USB cables behind it, which is really great, because that way you can plug your components at the bottom, put your TV on the new shiplap wall, and then not have to see any of the cords. So it went from being a really ugly thing in the room to a beautiful design feature, and that worked out really well. The other thing was we had glass sliding doors that were really very 80s, really needed to go. So what we did to get past that was we put wooden French doors, painted them white, and it became very charming. And then you can just put a Roman shade and, and hide that, and then it looks like it belongs. So that was a pretty easy fix. Now in the spare bedrooms, we had blue carpet, which it's not the end of the world, but it's taste specific. Again, we are trying to get top dollar. So my recommendation was just take the carpet out. We put beige carpet, it wasn't very expensive. And then you can use anything with these neutral colors. So 
That worked out really well. Now on to the master, there really wasn't that much that needed to be done in here. We dressed it up with some curtains, we furnished it really well, and we also created a seating area so that people could see there's tons of room in this bedroom for whatever kind of furniture you have. Anything could basically fit in there. Now the master bathroom was a whole other story. There were two individual vanities in a space that clearly should have been one long vanity. We took them out, replaced them with one single shaker style vanity, and then we put the gray quartz on top. We also found some gorgeous, gorgeous tile that looked like distressed wood, but it was ceramic, and we ran it all the way up the back wall. We hung two beautiful new mirrors and two beautiful light fixtures, and oh my goodness, it came out so great. The feedback was amazing on this room. We also took out the existing tub and the surround and we replaced it with a new big, wide, tall fiberglass tub. We did a built-in all around it. We had to keep the same footprint because it wasn't in the budget to completely redo everything. But we worked with the space that we had and it came out really gorgeous, very spa feeling. In the shower, it was that kind of uh, like a, felt like a cave. It had the little door and you walk in, the ceiling's low, it felt horrible. I mean, in my experience, buyers just can't stand that. So we ripped out the whole front wall, we kept the sides and the back, and then what we did was um, we raised the ceiling as well, and then we tiled over what was existing. So that worked out pretty good, and it came out really beautiful, and then we found on Amazon a gorgeous thick glass sliding door that slides on a rail. So it took something that was so outdated and for not a whole lot of money made it super modern. Lucky for us, we had gray slate colored tile. And so that worked really well with what we were going with and we didn't have to change that at all. So the whole thing really came together and everybody was just thrilled in the end. I am Carrie Lawless. Thank you so much for watching.